game up here. Elements of Aberdeen's play not totally satisfactory that day. I didn't think they reached the, the heights, and they'll have that in the backs of their minds for the Skull Cup final, of course, uh, next weekend. Now, here is Charlie Nicholas's choir. I had him on the radio coming up here today, bemoaning the fate of the strikers today, how difficult it is to score goals, and uh, Charlie knows that only too well because he's still to open his account yet this season. There are hearts. They've slipped up recently. One or two uh, jittery results, jittery performances. And David McCreary, Northern Ireland internationalist, that's our first look at him. They used to call him the roadrunner at Manchester United when he warmed up because he was a sub so often and the, the crowd loved him. The recognisable features of David Syme, the match referee. And one suspects the pitch will be very yielding today because we've had oh, almost tropical monsoons. Slightly colder, I would say, but the, the rain has been really lashing down here. And sometimes that can produce good football. We shall see. The Gallic sure he's disappointed about what happened in Paris where I thought he was quite outstanding Robertson back in the side for Aberdeen there's McLaren the rain slightly eases oh the referee delayed his whistle but considered that was a handling offence look how bedraggled Robert Connor looks Post one aim at Bannon, and I think he was doing a bit of shoving. He has free kick. Big Theo Snelders. Hoisted that up well. Craig Levine right behind it, beginning to show some of his best form, and that is offside. Wayne Foster just Missed that. Gary Mackay. That's not a bad ball, Cahoon. And we're seeing more of Hart to this early stage. McPherson. Now Cahoon. Slight mistake there by Bet. Gary Mackay. That's unlike Snelders. Very good shot indeed, but Snelders found that very difficult. The ball is extremely wet, of course. Cameron away on that far side. I thought the ball was going to be pushed out towards him. There he is, just hovering there, and he picks it up now. Miller. Ooh. Referee waves play on. Robertson took his eye off that, no bet. That was a skillful, thoughtful player. Great move by Bet. That'll please the Aberdeen support and the Aberdeen bench. Played around with it first, got his opening, and good goalkeeping. Still lashing down. That's a heart support in the background. Most of them sheltered, but it's going to be a very wet afternoon. Bannon. Cahun. Look at that Aberdeen defence in front of him. Alec McLeish giving his eye on the ball. Technically perfect. <laughs> to whom McCreary. That's an attempt at a one-two. did very well Scott Crabb that little one two but just too much underneath it McPherson that was slack Bet. beautiful ball that's meant for Cameron and yes nice little sweeper action there by the Hearts goalkeeper Henry Smith 
quick off his mark. Nicholas, dummy on, yes, knew that was coming, and McKimmy can't make anything of it. Yeah, you could read this quickly enough. Felt the dummy was coming, and it did. But a full-back's final effort. Good. Nicholas, a little slow going for that. Cahoon, Foster, what's not a bad ball, him and Van is in with a chance! <laughs> Goalkeeper did recover very well, best chance of the game so far, and Aberdeen on the counter-attack, I think that might be a little too strong, and it is, well let's have a look at that one again. Now this deceived the Aberdeen defence, it partially deceived David Bannon as well. That's all he could do, turning on it instantly, and the goalkeeper really performed very courageously to stop that one. There's Cahoon offside. Got that break from uh, Scott Crabb. No protest from John Cahoon. It's Nicholas, that's not a bad ball. Corner. Bet. Must be a shot on here, it is. Well, that's two efforts he's had. He's in the mood for shooting. Touch of aggression, which uh, Aberdeen will warmly applaud as the heart supporters will that save. And he's been getting good length with these kick ups. Free kick. Gary Mackay, two minds there, Dave McPherson. It's not a bad ball towards uh, Scott Crabb, Eamon Bannon. Well, that's a great goal! Oh, Tosh McKinley. Beautifully swept home. A magnificent volley coming off that rebound and swept away from a very fine goalkeeper. He had no chance with that. 20 minutes gone, and uh, a state of delirium in that enclosure. His heart's going to the lead. Well, there we are. That's way out there, an oil rig, a support vessel of some kind. Quite impervious to the fact that hearts are 1-0 up. Well, we've gone half an hour. Hearts the better team. Not by considerable distance, but they're out there in front at the moment. That was Crabb, now uh, Bannon. It's wide and McLaren should get that. Uh, Dave McPherson. Getting these long legs into action and right out of touch with that one, though. Sort of touched on to Nicholas, but uh, ball eluding him. Well, when you haven't scored a goal all season and you're sort of born to score goals, the frustration does creep in. You try that a little bit harder, perhaps too hard, and that's what's been happening to Charlie Nicholas in recent times. Goal will do in the world of good, but here's a run by Ben. Henry Smith, here's Ben. What a chance, and he's missed it! Oh, dear, oh, dear. You know, he's the very player you would bet, if you're part of the fun, would score from a position like this. He just slightly lost ahead. I think the player coming in his vision there put him off. Now oh, the break by Foster. 
Kramer's inside. Well covered by Snelders, but um, well, should really have been cut back a bit more. Only seven minutes of this half remaining. Picked up there by Mason. And that's a very good ball as no offside this time. And no penalty. No. Oh, they think there was an instinctive reaction that he'd been brought down, but I think this might show that he wasn't. No. No penalty. Nicholas made it up well. Honor. Picked up by Robertson. It's a good ball across. Great defending though by Levine. And McCreary. Hart's really playing exceptionally well. That was a superb clinch, you know. Let's watch this one. A very good ball indeed. And he goes back towards goal and then flicks it away. Great stuff. Up. Connor run away from it. Straight down to Foster, picking the ball up well. Hart, Chris Crab, McKinley. Crab. Up comes McPherson again. Go for the one turn, he gets it. Tries to get that across. Well, oh, that's not bad work for the centre defender. He almost made it too. Good run. Always going to be difficult to get it past the defenders, which he just barely did. Look at that good move by Miller. He didn't go for it. Just held back at the last second. and right up again. Query. Might have done something a little more constructive than that. Corner given. With about uh, four and a half minutes of this half remaining. I like the cliche. Up amongst them. For the short one. That. Willie Miller. Touch of desperation about Aberdeen's attacks. Mason. Oh. Maroon Wall has held. So far. Bet. Nice turn by Cameron. No penalty. Another good decision by the referee. What a slip than anything else. But Hart still holding out. Well, now here's a break and a half. Foster. No, he's got to touch his back. Or he's put it the wrong way. Okay, I think he would have needed eyes in the back of his head there. Grab. There's McLaren. Where is the touch back? Too late in coming. But Hart showing how useful they are in counter-attack. So this might be the end of the first half coming up after this corner. Which isn't a bad one. And there it goes, as expected. The halftime whistle. Hearts in the lead, and deservedly so. They fought very hard for it. Uh, that excellent goal by Tosh McKinley. I haven't seen uh, McKinley score a goal before, as I recollect, but he's, I, I doubt very much if he scored a better one than that. Superbly taken on the volley. And uh, side of a contented Hearts 
support and the Amadonians must be perplexed because this is a pale limitation of the team that started off the season and certainly Aberdeen will have to pick up the game by a great deal in the second half. Much uh, better weather at the start of this second half and one wonders if conditions will improve for Aberdeen. It was a distinctly wintry first 45 minutes for them. I wouldn't say they look dispirited, but there are one or two of the players just not giving their all, as I see it from up here. Certainly a couple of them quite anonymous. I'll have to get more out of midfield. Crab. Better break there by corner. Oh, and he's too slow. Mackay. Crab. Oh, what a weak effort. Alec Miller taking no chances. Alec McLeish. Again, wants to come forward. Hearts pinning Aberdeen down in midfield. The marking has been excellent. Cameron took his eye off that. And took a blow in the face. Yes, and the physio comes on. Well, there was a chase for the ball. And I think there was a collision. He took his eye off it, and then there was a collision there, quite accidental. There was a delayed reaction after that. He seemed to walk around and then collapsed. And he does not look in a very good condition at all. Which is a great pity. Ian Cameron goes off. Looking not at all well. So... Willem van der Ark is on. Robertson. Chase is on. That's a very good ball indeed. Mason. There's a header by van der Ark. Well, an attempted header. Rather well, half-hearted, in my view. Really, that challenge for the ball by the Dutchman appeared from here to lack conviction. Watch it again. He didn't go after it too strongly. But uh, Aberdeen get the corner. Over that far post back corner. Look who's up, Willie Miller. Ball's gone over though. Aberdeen pushing everybody forward. Only Robertson and Mason were left at the back. This is taken down by Mason. Wayne Foster, good break again by Hearts. There's Foster. Oh, that's gone in! <laughs> Scott Crabb. He looked to be heading for the Gorgie Road there, at least the, the Hearts supporters. 2 nothing. And almost 10 minutes gone. Watch this. Now, Aberdeen had hemmed Hearts in. It was a good run by Foster. It didn't look such a dangerous cross, but look at these two men. Crab eventually getting in, and they were left in the clear. Aberdeen facing a mountain to climb now. Well, it's Alec McDonald in the dugout. Must uh, be looking forward to a nice, relaxed journey back to Edinburgh. It stays like this. Bannon. Well, Crab entitled to try that. Locked himself into a good position. Played right across the field. And no problem for the goalkeeper.
go offside. through to Foster again but it goes with him on a kick these hot supporters behind that goal have had a very enjoyable afternoon the good will take this a little bit of shoving I would have thought Is back. Oh, and he almost makes a mistake. Surely it's a goal. Oh, crab again. That's incredible. I have never seen an Aberdeen defence concede a goal quite like that. An utter tragedy. Well, it wasn't, to be honest, the defender that was in there. It was Willem van der Ark. What a muff he made of that. Crab could hardly miss. 3-0. This is astonishing. Well, that was a little bit of the theatre of the absurd. And Hart, I think, substituting. John Robertson comes on. Wayne Foster is off. Robertson. Well, a good driving run by Robertson. Free kick, yes. Tempting one again. McPherson tries to get in on that and a free kick. But oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that is a very jittery Aberdeen defence. You can see the nerves in all of this, you know, the uncertain the way they went for that ball. It wasn't cleared all that well, and there was the infringement now as Robertson went down. up by Mackay, Robertson, Mackay, McCready, offside I think, yes, to Van der Aert. and he slips it past the goalkeeper and he can't score it is not their day is it troubles come in legions and this is one of them look at that he just couldn't get it cleanly enough go on Mackay, well to hold on to that, Connor comes back, no, now the counter-attack, Bet. Better play by Bet, that's a great piece of play by Aberdeen's most talented player in my view. And that is how commanding hearts are. But there is Bet, he's tried his best, I mean, he, I think he's frankly disgusted by some of the players being going on around him because he is a class player make no mistake about that
Robertson doesn't quite get it away. Throw to Aberdeen. Cahoon. Nice little turn inside. There's him and Bannon. What a kick. Well, he saw his opportunity. Good run by Cahoon. Robertson had to watch the tackle here. Cahoon just alluding him, and there's Bannon with very fortunate interception. Well, there's a sign of dejection, surrender even, to the other Dean supporters. Find their way home, and I think they've given up the cause for this afternoon. This is another day to come. Skull Cup final next weekend. I'm sure we'll see an entirely different Aberdeen performance there. And there's a good ball now. Now, surely, corner. No. Suddenly, it's McKinley who pops up. And I put the emphasis on team performance. It really has been that today. Backed up by the vocal, musical support. We're now into stoppage time. Miller is up. And that's not a bad ball at all. That's surely a goal, yes. The big Dutchman, Van der Aert, puts a better face on and things for Aberdeen. In stoppage time, Henry Smith almost opening that ball and then Wham, a Dutch goal. Three one. We're now a minute and a half into stoppage time. And there it goes, the final whistle. I have to say, a comprehensive victory by Hearts, despite that last-second Aberdeen goal. Delighted support there, and no wonder they were watching a team who had the upper hand from the one goal against, well, I don't know, a, a, an astonishing performance by Aberdeen. They just seemed to be demoralised for two long spells in the game. And really, although the honours go to uh, Hearts, clearly, to look forward to next weekend and uh, to that Skull Cup final, I cannot believe for a minute that Aberdeen can be so peely wally as they were this afternoon. And there's no doubt about it, parts of the play like this are going to be a considerable force this season.